Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. This should be a pretty fun session today. I have read your comments, I see many of you wanting bloodshed, gore, and glory, and there will definitely be some of that uh, right at the beginning almost of this session actually as uh, Kong Rong and his key army over here goes down towards uh, Yangju and the Han Empire. Just trying to capture this so that we can maybe climb up the faction rank ladder and eventually trade this uh, city uh, to Cao Cao so he'll be happier with us and whatnot. Uh, I think that'll be a helpful token that we can use, a diplomatic token we can use down the line. I want to mention really quickly that of course the game is releasing later on today. I think it's probably just a handful of hours at this point. Um, so hopefully you guys are still enjoying this uh, series, still enjoying this show. If you are, it's very important now that you let me know with your likes and comments down below uh, because now is when I have to consider, all right, are we continuing this series? Are we slowing it down a bit? Are we keeping it daily? So let me know your thoughts down below so I can uh, adjust accordingly because after all, your feedback is what I kind of work with and look to for information and, and thoughts. Now, there were a lot of uh, suggestions and, and thoughts and concerns expressed in the comments, a lot of which we're going to handle right at the top of the session here. First things first, uh, yes, Liu Bei, what, what a traitor. I cannot believe he did what he did. However, we're still best friends. He didn't see it as a betrayal. He saw it as an opportunity. Yuan Xiao is quite powerful, and, uh, and, and, and so it makes sense that he would become a vassal of Yuan Xiao's. However, Yuan Xiao also doesn't hate me. We're friendly. We get along. We've got a non-aggression pact. As you can see under the attitude to you, there's that little icon. That's a non-aggression pact. So while I don't feel safe... I don't feel terrified currently. That doesn't mean I won't prepare for what is maybe the inevitable. So we are going to raise another army. To raise another army, however, we're going to need some money. So we're going to spend a little bit of time acquiring wealth so that we can raise a second army. Yes, it'll hurt our trade monopoly, but you know what else will hurt our trade monopoly? Not existing. <laughs> Being dead is going to hurt our trade monopoly, so that's obviously not an option. Thankfully, we do have uh, Gong Sun Zhen up over here, and he's going to help us. If we get into a war with Yen Xiao, uh, they don't like each other, so he he will most likely help us in this situation. And uh, you know what I haven't checked, actually? Are we trade partners? Um, I, I We are trade partners. Okay, cool. Um, and the other thing that... Uh, well, there's a couple of things. So Yen Xiao and I actually have... Uh, I have a tribute agreement, a regular payment agreement of over a thousand per turn. That's going to go away soon, which means we're going to be making 3.6k per turn with standard tax rates, which is huge. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm feeling pretty good about raising a second army. Now, first things first. Liu Bei. In lieu of friendship, you're going to receive a slightly harsher hand now. Very poor in terms of food. Actually, not very poor. Just negative nine. Very poor is actually a statement. So we're going to use you for a couple of things, I think. We're going to use you for a couple of things. Mm, for one, for one, uh, I would like my territory back. We were friends once, but uh, no more. Now I'll show you uh, what happens when you wrong Kong wrong. Um, I would give you... Where are we? Where are we? I would give you some food. Because he desperately needs food. I don't want to give you all my food. I'm, I'm happy enough giving you a little bit of money as well. Um, regular payments I would probably prefer. Our max is 2,600. So let's go ahead with, let's say 500. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not 8,950. 500 as a starting number. And we'll, we'll tweak these around a little bit. So we're starting the session with a little bit of negotiating. So bear with me, folks. Uh, but we're very quickly going to turn to uh, to a battle. It's right around the corner. So just, just hang in there for a second. I know many of you, again, really want that uh, violence to kick up a notch. Definitely going to happen this session, guaranteed. So you're not. Um, it's actually interesting reading the comments, seeing how many of you are interested in this tall approach versus how many of you are like, it's called total war. Fight some wars, damn it. Uh, I respect both opinions. I understand totally where both are coming from. So I'm trying to make sure we handle uh, both sets. Because, again, I'm trying to showcase everything. Uh, with this. Now, let's go ahead and notch this up. Go with 650. So I don't care for him being happy about the deal. I just care for the deal working out for me. Because again, we're no longer... He considers me his best friend, but man, he 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 did me dirty. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually out of the game. I'm upset. Like, not like sad. I'm not going to bed crying. But I'm just like, how, how do you do that? How do you betray a best friend? Damn, man. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to give him a little bit of food for the next 10 turns. 
a little bit of money for the next 10 turns. None of this is a concern for me. I have so much food and so much money. Uh, and in, in return, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take away the territory of, well, the lumber yard at Lang Yi. Go ahead and propose that deal. He's not overwhelmingly overjoyous about it, but he's not upset about it either. Um, yeah, that works well for me. Now, you may have noticed while I was going to uh, trade territory with him, uh, something interesting popped up. So he's got his city at uh, Lang Yi, which we won't be able to trade off of him. I mean, I'd be very surprised if he's willing to trade off of him, trade that out. Uh, but at least it's just one city here. Unfortunately, he also has the trade port at Luoyang. Luoyang? Sorry, I'm probably not getting that spot on. Um, so that's unfortunate. It means he's going to he's going to stick around as a thorn in my backside. Uh... It's okay, though. It's okay. Um, I, I'm not really... I'm not rushing to go to war with him, but, you know, I, I'd like to... <laughs> I'd like to solve the problem. Let's put it that way. In fact, you know, let's check real quick. Just as an experiment here, if we were to... Uh... Yeah, he's not He's not even going to bother. He's not going to give up the entire commandery, of course. Uh, and that's not a problem. That's not a problem. The other thing that we can do... Going around... Going around the block, if we look at Yan Xiao, I wonder if we've got the trade agreement, this regular payment is going to go away soon. We've got the uh, non-aggression pact as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's take a look at... Let's look at Liu Bei first. Wow, he doesn't even want to have the independence, like his own independence supported, that's crazy. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Kong Zhou, how about you? I support your independence. Yes, he'd like that very much. He'd like that so much that he's willing to pay me for it. All right, let's start at a decent number. Let's start at 1,500, probably too high. That's fine, that's fine. I can get, uh, let's say, 1,300 off of you. Excellent. This is a war fund, after all. So Kong Zhou, I'm guaranteeing your independence, or I'm supporting your independence. It will not upset Yuan Xiao. It will make Hong Zhuo happy, of course. Let's just check here. Yuan Xiao, plus 22. Close that. Deal signed. Yuan Xiao, still plus 22. So that's good. Uh, moving on. Yi Jian Li Ting. Over here. How about you? Are you interested in your independence? You are. Wow, you're really interested. You're also very poor, but you've got money. <laughs> very poor in terms of food. Uh, request payment. Let's start you off at 2,000. Probably too high. That's two-thirds of their money. Yeah. Ooh, not not too far off the mark, though. Uh, 1,900? Okay, 1,920. 1,930. 1,949. Yeah. 1,940. Works for me. And still, Yuan Xiao... Lu Bu didn't like that. <laughs> Yuan Xiao doesn't quite care. All right, and Wang Lang, are you interested in having your independence supported? You are not as much. You're also not very wealthy. But every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Oh, you know, this is actually more than I was expecting. Oh, this is way more than I was expecting. I thought 500 would be too much. Okay, 1,000 is too much. Drop it down a bit. And again, I'm not trying to make these guys happy with deals that favor them. I'm trying to... Uh, Raise a war chest here. There we go. And again, Yan Xiao does not care. So it is agreed. Indeed it is. How much money do we have now? Over 4,000. I feel like there's more money to be made though. Uh, let's see. You know what I could do? Well, hold on. First of all, let me, let me check something real quick. If I would like... The farmland at Yingchen. 19.6 isn't that bad. Unfortunately, he does have a lot of food and a lot of money. I don't know. Yeah, even all my food barely makes a difference. All right, this was just a test. Anyway, what I actually want to do is talk to Liu Bei. Because he is really poorly off for food, but he's okay for, for money. So, separate deal. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I could have I could have approached this a little differently. 
because I was I was thinking I could offer him food for money. But that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Too late now. Can't can't uh, can't always live that life of regret. Let's instead turn our attention to Dao Ying next. Yes, a lot of time spent on the diplomacy screen. Um, let's go ahead and ask you for I believe this is yeah Pen Cheng. Ask for these two territories. Negative thirty five. Very poor. Poor. So if I offer food trade, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm uh, a little crazy with this request. I was hoping because they were so poorly off, we might have a chance here to get some more territory. Nah, okay, I'm wasting my time here. Could give them some ancillaries. Trade some of these. They gotta be worth something. Oh my god, they're definitely worth something. Okay, hold on then, hold on. Let's not let's not overdo this. Because this will actually around, allow me to uh, overpower Liu Bei maybe, give him more to worry about. And as you can see over here, our trade our trade route with uh, Wang Lang is suspended because we don't have a connection with him. Uh, which is also something I'm trying to fix over here. Okay, am I really going to give you a thousand per turn? Let's figure this out. And ancillaries. Which ones are useless here? Corruption, satisfaction, authority, authority, satisfaction, authority, satisfaction, morale, instinct, satisfaction. I think I'm okay with giving these two away. Corruption is not an issue for us right now. Let's see how much of a difference that makes. Not enough, but we're close. Maximum of 14 food. We can go up to, well, let's keep that at 10. I can always up my tax rate a bit. 1200 do the trick for you? Nope. How about 1300? No, okay. So kind of reached a cap here. Looks like we reached a cap at 900. Okay. We give you a little bit more food. We want a lot more food. Alright, fine. Let's go ahead and give him another ancillary. Give you the stone monkey. And then reduce the food out by a lot and reduce the money as well. I'm gonna go with 700. It needs to be 714, I guess. All right, fair enough. A couple of ancillaries that I wasn't using anyway. Some food. We get two territories, a temple and some farmland. So more food coming our way um, and we're trading some out for a bit and it'll, it'll connect our trade route here as well, hopefully. It should. That's how I understand it. And uh, we'll make even more, more money off of that. So yes, propose this deal. Deal signed. Glad you approve. Beautiful. The, the worry is that Yuan Shao can uh, vassalize Dao Ying. But the problem is that Dao Ying was in a terrible position anyway. Uh, with what he had, he was poor uh, for food and for, for, for money. So it's very possible that Yuan Shao is going to vassalize him next, and then I'd be even in even more trouble. So I'm trying to preempt as much as possible. As much as possible. Sorry, I'm having a hard time speaking in English today. Uh, ooh, the helps are prestige a lot. Grand Temple of Confucius. I like this. I like this a lot. That's great. And we have over here the Grain Estates. That helps our prestige too. Are we not? Oh, we're right at the cusp of becoming a marquee. Right at the cusp. That's great. All right, lots of money, and with that money comes uh, the great responsibility of having to recruit a new army. Now, I believe Tai Shi Tzu is here. We're going to stop your assignment so that you'll be back next turn. Okay? For now, to just in case someone's planning on declaring war on us, uh, we are actually going to turn to our bandit queen, to, well, to our queen, queen as well. We're going to raise an army with Zheng Jiang. Do not have enough money. I am just a little short. Okay, fair enough. I like her retinue and stuff, so I want to make sure I get her as opposed to anybody else. Not a problem. Here's what we'll do. We'll turn to... Um, she, she had equal... No, poor. Yan Xiao, let's talk to you instead, because you've got money. you got money and food. You're poor all around. Yuan Shu, very poor, poor. Like, I need to talk to somebody who has money. Ah. Okay, you have food as well, though, unfortunately. Because what I want is just a little bit of money. Request payment. I need, like, give me, like, 500 bucks. 
Give me like... 4,000 bucks. <laughs> we'll figure this out. Um, offer food trade. Let's see where we can sit. Ah, uh, you know what? Not good enough. He's got he's got more than enough food. That's why it's not working there. Um, oh, Lang Lang, hello. Go ahead and request payment. Again, we want it to be like, let's try let's try four thousand. Okay. Oh, holy crap! Because he doesn't have that much money. That's like most of his money. Let's try three thousand. Offer food trade. Yeah, this isn't going to fly. He's poor. He's not that poor. Turn this down a little bit. 12. He's willing to give us 1291. That's enough to at least recruit the army. Uh, so I'm fine with this. 10 turns, 12 food. Propose the deal. Make sure we get along more. We're already friendly. All right. Okay. Now, 1k of that tribute will be gone soon. But this means that now we can raise our army. My queen. My bandit queen. Yang Jiang, bring your forces. There we go, beautiful. Beautiful, and you know what I should have done first? I just, just occurred to me, because I checked this. I like to check between sessions to make plans, and uh, something just slipped my mind. So I'm literally paying the cost for it, but I have a reform available that now would have been the time to get. Um, a regional commissioner's reduces recruitment cost. So we wasted a little bit of money there, because it's too excited to... To see my queen on the battlefield, I suppose. Uh, but that's okay. We'll, we'll issue this anyway. Get the regional commissioners happening so that when we recruit further troops, uh, for example, uh, Tai Shi Tzu here is going to be recruited next turn. He's returning from his assignment. It takes a turn. Uh, but when we do recruit him, it, it, it should be a bit cheaper uh, to get his units out as well. Uh, also, sorry, I meant to do it here. Shuri, uh, Sima Lang, and... Young Sui. I want someone who can bring archers and has good cunning. It looks like Zheng Sui has the highest cunning without being... I mean, yes, I could bring Shi Yi, but you know what? He's happy and satisfied enough. So I think I'd rather bring uh, bring in Zheng Sui here. He's 61 years old. Damn, dude. No wonder you're cunning. Had all that time to get cunning. It's between Sima Lang and Zheng Sui. Either way, we can't recruit anybody right now unless I'm willing to trade more food and stuff. And you can see our our, our income's gone down, but we uh, one of our tributes is about to end. So that's good. We can up taxes a little bit. Let's go ahead and up the tax rate by one step and see what that does for our public order real quick. And then we can go into uh, to a battle. Public order's okay, okay. Nice clean visual rep. Love it. Okay, going up over there. What about down over here? Up, up, and up. Cool. People don't mind paying. Oh, that's funny. Our newly acquired territory here is actually costing us money because of the building upkeep. <laughs> funny. Well, we've got a huge garrison there, though. This is good. This is good territory, I think. Traded relatively cheaply, if you ask me. Trade with this faction has been restored as well. Beautiful. That, though, I think is the turn... Uh, one last thing I did want to do was send a spy out. Now, the reason why uh, Yu Jujian was sent to Dongmin, many of you asked why I did that, it was so that I could maybe find more potential allies or enemies down the line, uh, see what's going on over here and get an idea of who else is over here so I could talk to them and maybe get something out of them. Uh, for example, with you, I could, you know, offer uh, food for a little bit. Go with 10 and... Uh, Request payment and, you know, make some more money this way, for example, and maybe raise more troops right away. So that it's more of a threat to anybody who might consider declaring war on me. That's exactly what I'm thinking. So that's why I sent uh, my spy all the way over here a couple sessions ago. Let's do that. Good having food. At 13 with the extra taxes. Go ahead and propose this deal. We don't love each other. But... That can change. Nice. Very nice. Okay, well, with that money, we're going to go ahead and get... Uh, I do think uh, Zheng Sui is the, is the right guy to go with. Because, again, I want somebody with archers, because range is so powerful. And I can also get trebuchet. Uh, yeah. 
do it. I've always loved archer heavy um, armies. We'll confirm that. We're going to go ahead and recruit. I'd like to get you some crossbows. And I think the repeating crossbows have... They're only worse with melee power and morale, and I'm fine with that. So let's go ahead and get a couple of you, and maybe we'll get a couple of trebuchets in this army. But you can see it's getting pretty expensive. But I need this army. In case Yen Xiao had any plans, and Liu Bei is right there as well with his army. Hopefully no one tries anything funny. Uh, but before we hit that end turn button, we actually have to fight a battle down here. And again, I, I apologize that it's taken so long to get to a battle, but... Uh, we're going to dive down here with this army. Should be more than good enough. Oh my god, I was way too eager. Close defeat. Lots of archers, a little bit of cavalry. A lot of bit of cavalry, but this cavalry is weaker than my cav. Yeah, it's weaker than all of my cav, so that should not be a problem. Uh, well, we do have to build the sappers or battering rams, whatever I choose to do. The, by the time the first one's done, they're going to start starving out, so hopefully... They'll just surrender, or it'll be a much easier battle. Again, we can also fight a knight battle, which is pretty cool. Wait, it goes from being a close defeat to a valiant defeat? That's not good enough. <laughs> it's not good enough. We're going to continue the siege. Starve them out. Maybe they'll sally forth. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I wonder if... You know what? No, Cao Cao doesn't have any armies close enough to, to help down here. But that battle will give us a little bit of violence after a very long time of not having any feeling a lot more comfortable and i hope you guys are as well about my yuan xiao and Liu Bei situation yeah we're making it work we're making it work and that turn see what happens Liu Bei is moving up that way gongsun zen is down here as well again gongsun zen is going to be a very important ally of mine oh actually i should mention something this comes up uh very often uh thank you all for being very kind about my uh attempts at getting these names right uh, many of you have been very oh damn <laughs> we gotta take a look at this real quick uh, many of you have been very uh, helpful in providing some suggestions uh, and i should mention yes uh ms elite my girlfriend has been very helpful as well uh she's half chinese she speaks mandarin and uh, she's been educating me on on my mistakes and she's she sets the bar very high she's still not happy with how i say half these names which is good because it means i try harder to get even better so thank you for uh for those of you in the comments that guide me as well very helpful. This is an interesting situation. That's not a much bigger army coming in as a reinforcement. And this is the attacking army. So all I'm going to fight first is a couple of archers. And let's not forget, if I recall correctly, actually, Wang Xu has, yes, the strategies of the warring states, which means we can guerrilla deploy all of this cavalry right in the face of all of this archer militia. And if we can pull back quickly enough, there's a couple of spear guards to worry about, a little bit of G militia and cavalry that we overpower. I'm feeling pretty good about this battle. I don't know about the Peric victory. I think the game's wrong. To the battlefield we go. All right, folks, this should be, this should be good. This should be good, Um, hopefully. Now, they're probably going to deploy in the forest, which makes me very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable, they have Reinforcements arriving from over here. I see only the one pip, so is that... Oh, that's so cool. There's the city. There's the city! That's so dope! Oh, you can actually see it on this map, even though... I mean, I guess it's technically the battle of the city. It's just they've sallied forth. All right, all right. Don't get too excited, party. Relax, relax. All right, now I can do a couple things with these guys. Oh, there are... Yeah, out over here gonna say there are these trees but I can't get into them start over here atop the hill okay here's what I'm thinking might take a slightly riskier approach here put two of you over here hidden and then put three of you over here hidden and that way we can keep an eye on approaching reinforcements and if archers and stuff lag behind or if there's any opportunity to move in swiftly then we can crash through the enemy's lines and uh perhaps even devastate them before they get too close i'm pretty excited for that so let's go ahead and group you up and then you will be a group as well and i'm hoping that uh we'll see something hopefully they'll like deploy over here like fools uh they're the attacker so they have the 20 minute time limit if they don't if they don't kill me by then i win 
Uh, and this cavalry split will hopefully allow me to be a bit more aggressive in terms of flanking. All right, let's go ahead and get set up over here as well. We've got, uh, of course, our front line of medium spear guard, medium spear infantry. Spear guard in turtle formation. They do have archers, let's not forget. Go ahead and get uh, you two loose like so. Again, they do have archers. Loose you as well over here. I need to replace the G militia. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> Why are they still here? Uh, flaming shots available to us as well with these units. So let's go ahead and uh, take it. I think it'll slow down how quickly we fire. But, ooh. We can fire upon the trees. Being near fire does cause morale damage. And I wonder if it will egg the enemy out of their safety if they even opt to use the tree. So let's go ahead and try that. So skirmish off, guard on. So we will actually creep forward a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Zheng Yan over to this side over here. Uh, and either I'll send him in to support these two cavalry units or I'll pull him for uh, for rear charges over here. And of course, Hong Rong, we're going to pull you back over here. This will be interesting. I do want to try setting this forest on fire, which is unfortunate because I'm sure a lot of people are going to lose a nice view they would have otherwise had. Uh, I think we're ready for this, folks. I hope these guys are far back enough that they won't get spotted by arriving reinforcements. I don't think they will, but uh, one way to find out, I suppose. One way to find out. We're definitely going to move forward right away. I want to set fire to this forest. Should be fun. Again. Okay, so you are hiding in the trees over there. Let's go. Move as quickly as possible. Get here fast. Back over here, reinforcements are arriving. We can see it all, though, thankfully. Man, I love the little touches, like the the, the mist and fog and stuff being kicked up. All right, so from these waiting cavalry forces, we can see the enemy approach. Look at the move, and they're probably going to be distracted by our incoming cavalry on the other side of the field. Look at those banners as well, and on the other side of the field, here's our cavalry moving through, about to enter the forest here. Now, some of you were asking how I get this uh, smooth ca uh, camera motion. It's the same thing as Warhammer 2. There's a camera setting uh, that you can use. Uh, really smooths out the motion, allows things to be a bit more cinematic. It does make it a bit harder to control, but sometimes things have got to look pretty. All right, we're going to move through. Move through. We do have to be wary of the uh, general here. So let's go ahead and send Deng Yan in, our champion. And our own units over here. Go ahead and rotate like so in case they decide not to come through the forest. We're about to go in for some charges over here. Go, go, rush it, rush it. I don't want to loosen your formation. You got a nice charge in here, please. There we go. They should give up pretty soon, pretty much right away, I imagine. Oh, there you are. These guys are firing away. Pull you back. I get another charge. Anything exposed over here? Some of these guys are falling behind. Maybe it's time to move in. The enemy run. Craven. Yes, of course. All right, we've got some cavalry over there. Let's keep an eye out for that. Crush you. Crush you still. Try and get you in here. We need to be very careful. We need to make sure we pull back if necessary. Comes more archer fire, of course. Time for some loose formations, I think. You're good. Pull you back into the trees. Pull you back into the trees as well. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Oh, no. No, no. And turn that off. Turn that off. Okay, we're falling back over there. We've got this. Where's our cavalry? There it is. Go. Loosen everything. We can turn around and hopefully close the gap on you. We should overpower you. Yeah. Up we go. We can get a nice rear charge in here real quick. Get you up there. Go ahead and do that. Hey, good charge here. Oh my god, we've obliterated that. Oh no! <laughs> Took a risk. See if it pays dividends. How are we doing over here? We should pull out. Spears are coming through and everything. Might be taking much bigger a risk here than it was worth. But good charge over here, hopefully. Decent hits. We're going to get a good charge over here, maybe. Not the best, but did some work. Turn you around over here. 
Turn you around over here as well. We've got you coming through. Let's go. Charge. Here we go. A little bit of harassment. They have so many archers. This is problematic at the best. Pull you guys back. Let's go. You're coming through. Go ahead and fall back over here. A decent bit of damage. Enemy warriors are running. Let's pull all the way back here. Commanders are beginning to chase us down. I thought our cavalry was better than theirs. Suppose I was mistaken. Ooh, meanwhile over here. What are you trying? Fire away. Send you up. Here come the fire arrows. Hope this will slow them down. Okay, what's going on up over here? We've actually lost a cavalry unit. I don't like that. Back over here. If you're falling back. All these archers are causing so much pain. Be back this way. I'm gonna get a nice charge over here if possible. Be this way. These guys are dying, unfortunately. Okay, one enemy unit is fleeing. The next one will hopefully flee soon as well. Coming through down this way. Get a charge over there, maybe. Good over here. Let's pull away further. The archers seem to be a little distracted. I, too, am a little distracted. Let's pull you up this way. Try and regroup up over here, please. How are we doing over here? Threat is low, so we should be overpowering them. All right. Trying to scare these guys off. They are spear guards, so... Their shields will help them, unfortunately. Stop the flaming shots. Regular fire. How are we doing? Those archers have taken a bit of a beating. You guys need to come down here. Maybe we can get some work down over here. Their cavalry concerns me. You know what? Let's disengage. Disengage, disengage. In fact, you pull in for maybe a nice charge on the G militia before they're able to form up. Get you two back over here. They're firing over here. I thought I told you to stop using the flaming shot. Alright, we're gonna absorb your charge over here. Stop firing. Good charge over there. Let's get out of there. Pull you back, I said. Let's get out. Get out. Some of their archers, unfortunately, are still very much fine. We can go ahead and tuck you guys into the forest over here. Maybe the AI will forget about us. Let's pull you down this way, please. Pull you down this way. and Our archers can maybe provide some support. These guys are running away. Front lines didn't even meet. Uh, fire into their backs. Regular shot. Sorry, I was using this as a toggle. I knew they'd come back, which is why I wanted to make sure I hit them. Pull you back. There we go. Doing pretty well. These guys are going to drop here. Imagine standing as these arrows go ahead of you. Here they come. This isn't going to last very long. Stop firing. Pull you back. Pull you back a little bit as well. Alright, how are we doing over here? Over here, nice and hidden. No one's chasing after us. We'll look for an opening to get into their... Um, into their uh, back lines again. Form up. We rotate you. Feeling somewhat comfortable. Let's go ahead and turn around and fire with our flaming shots over here. Again, I wanted to create some distance because these guys were getting too far up ahead. And hopefully this fire will scare them a little bit. Hopefully these trees will catch fire. They're definitely not enjoying this, I imagine. Counter charge. No opportunity there. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Stop firing. Fire up there instead. That's right, come at me. Go ahead, come at my spear guard. Not gonna. Turn around. Send these guys up. Rotate you. Rotate you, rotate you. Send you up there. Pull these guys back a little bit. Get behind those. Send you in. 
we go. Firing away up here. Regular shots, please. Come up there. What are we doing over here? Not well, I don't like that. That scares me. We're gonna turn around here. Pull this cavalry back. Enemy warriors are running. We've got our cavalry coming through again. Hopefully for some really, really sweet charges. They are running out of ammunition real quick as well. So that's good. This I don't like. Let's pull back. We need to get another charge in sometime. They've got the uh, spear guard over there, which is what's scary. Let's make sure we get out of there. Oof. Not get too hasty here. Pull back, pull back further. Let's get you up over here. Make sure we're providing support. Get you up there. Get you over here. Get a wedge. Okay, good there. Let's get you under the wedge as well. Oh, you want to come? You want to come at me? You want to come at me? Sure, do it. <laughs> Didn't think so. Here we go up here as well. Wedge formation charge coming through. Going to do a lot of work there. Very nice. Sorry, it wasn't my most cinematic shot. Uh, how are we doing over here? These guys are charging into my... Okay, we're fine. Let's go ahead and fire into the spear guard. Oh. That's right. Show your backs to me. Show your backs to me. Die. Oh my god, look at them die. Look at the number. It doesn't even trickle down. It bumps down in massive steps. <laughs> oh my god, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Amazing. Hello, I see you. You're gonna try and sneak by me? Look at that. Hold your fire. Need to get you out of here. What am I doing? Wasn't paying attention. Okay, Tinging still stands. Okay. Here come these shots as well. Just watching numbers drop is like half the fun right now. Pull you back. Get out of there. <laughs> We're fine over here. Yes, we are. And look, he's carrying his mace now as well. All right, uh, we can chase some things down now. I did lose some cavalry. Unfortunately, I must have stopped paying attention, which is unfortunate. Need to be a lot better at that sometimes. 20 archers, 31 archers. I mean, I'd like to finish some of these things off. Uh, regular formation, please. Go. Where are you? Get you up over here as well. If we can finish some of these units off again, that'll just make a huge difference in terms of... Uh, Oh, we can almost... Yeah, we're almost guaranteed to kill him. <laughs> He's not already dead. He's dying now. And then we're going to turn around. And come down over here. Get rid of this archer militia unit. Beauty. Beauty. Saber cavalry. We've got some infantry over here. And the G militia over there. Let's go ahead and finish you off. Speed it up. Oh, we want to catch the charge, of course. Give me that nice charge. 146, charge comes in. Oh, did I slow motion it? No, I didn't slow motion it. We're just tired, I guess. 98. I'm like, just trying to see the number fall. I can't even see it. How are we doing over here? You're okay there. Nice rear charge over here, hopefully. You better not have survived. I better not have left the one main guy a lot. It looks like I did, actually. What are the chances? God damn it. Okay, he can run back to tell the tale. He can tell people what happened here today. You are just the one archer left. 31 archers there. Let's make sure we finish them off. Battle should be a lot easier now. The, the, the siege battle itself. Hope you enjoyed that battle, though, folks. I mean, uh, again, I, I like trying. I like trying to take uh, complicated approaches to these things. I think it's a lot more fun that way. Um, often, the battles themselves go a little worse off. Like, for example, Deng Yan, because I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have been, uh, Deng Yan got routed, for example, uh, which is a shameful display. But okay, okay. Yeah, I think that's the battle, folks. 
I think we're ready to call it. Let's claim that victory. Close victory. What was the game predicting? Pyrrhic? Well, close it is. 14 minutes. So, you know, that wasn't a short battle. It was, uh, for those of you who are curious about, like, battle length and stuff, that was not a short battle. 15 minutes, I think, is close to the sweet spot. I think 20 minutes is the longest I would like a battle to be in a campaign. Uh, the occasional... We only lost 555? I did so much better than I thought. Uh, not to gloat. I'm not the type to gloat. But, like, that feels pretty good. I thought I did pretty terribly. Um, hell yeah. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, I think 20 tops is a good sweet spot. Uh, the occasional 30-minute battle is cool, but if every battle is 30 minutes, it starts to get painful. This man is honest, tranquil, cowardly, huh, and a pacifist. No friends, no rivals, nothing of value to steal. I could just release him. His cunning isn't that great. He isn't more interesting than any of the people I already have. Uh, and I don't need to kill him. He's, uh, he's a fellow blue, so I will release him. You may live. Um, let's go ahead with... Well, let's see the situation here. Yeah, this guy's a bit... Lauder. Pretty badly. I'm surprised you're still standing. And if you left. The unfortunate thing is that they have walls and stuff at the settlement. Alright, feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, recruit. Get a little bit of replenishment. It's not that much, but I think every little bit's going to count here. Unfortunately, he can come back for another fight. I don't think he will. Uh, Dao Ying wants a non-aggression pact, and he's willing to pay us for it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see. That's the most you're willing to pay. Again, I don't want to be an aggressor if I don't have to be. I might, if I have the opportunity to vassalize him down the line, I might do that. Um. So sure, I'll uh, I'll accept his deal. I don't want to propose it. It's not really a proposal for me. Liu Bei would like that as well. Traitor that he is. Damn. Worth a try. Fine, we'll accept this. Oh, you have pleased me. Oh, look at this guy. He knows how to talk. Oh, <laughs> he knows how to talk to a superior. All right, humility. Oh, no. Uh, due to their very nature, the truly humble are rarely spoken of. Ain't that the truth? The work this court noble produces proves they derive satisfaction from the diligent completion of their responsibilities rather than seeking recognition from their peers. Zheng Sui is... Satisfied. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, hey, good on you, buddy. Knowing what's important in life. Um, I unfortunately have to wait one more turn before I can strike. Because I need to get the thing done. Close victory. Really. Might even be able to, like, auto-resolve this. Medium predicted casualties. Not really the end of the world. We did, in fact, lose a unit, though. Well, continue the siege. Ancillary is gained. We've got a craftsman. Plus two expertise. Plus five percent income from industry. That's pretty big for our administrator. Uh, let's assign that first. Because... Oh. Dong doesn't have an administrator. I need another administrator position so that I can give them the, uh, the craftsman. I need to remember that. Dong can make us so much money. It can make us so much money. Um... Sorry, I couldn't stifle that laugh any harder. Uh, we could send someone on assignment here. Maybe something to increase... ...from commerce, unfortunately. Now, Yu Jujian... ...can help reduce mustering time. Which is perhaps not a bad idea. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and assign you. And let's recruit into this army. Because I, I do think we need two full armies in case war comes a-knocking. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recruit. Many of you have wanted to see him in action. It will be time to. He is a sentinel, so that means he's good at locking down enemy generals. Which is nice and helpful. Best, best group with a retinue of glaive infantry and melee infantry. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well... Ta tai Shi Tzu, let's go ahead and uh, get you in this army. Pretty cheap to recruit. Confirm that. 
And we will also give you... I'm guessing that's a special unit. Yeah. Dian Sword Guard. Wow. That melee toughness, I mean, I wish I could... More HP, faster attack rate, better attack... Holy crap, these guys are much better in melee. Much, much, much better. Well, we can afford one, two, three, four of you right away. We have some cavalry in this army. I'm tempted to... Oh, I kind of want more. A lot of spears. I don't think we need that many. I might get some... I want to swap you guys out. Oops. You have to click, and then click, and then click. Swap them out, yeah, for sure. And then Taishu Tsu, I do not have a ranged weapon. Some of you pointed out he's a legendary archer, uh, or bowman, I suppose, but he, he does not, I don't have uh, a ranged weapon just yet. So I can't assign one to him. So this is good. I'm happy with this. Our income is a little bit on the low side. 1.4k is lost in tribute. Hopefully those tributes will come to an end soon. No, they. some of them will most certainly not come to an end soon. That's fine. That's fine. Um, where is going down here? Take a quick gander. Public order. So here people are not happy, and here people are not happy. What's going on? Are you staying unhappy? No, it's going up over here, so that's good. The garrison is almost certainly helping. I could just... Go. Oh, events are helping. Not even the garrison, that's weird. Expect the garrison to make a bigger difference. Oof, not good. This is a problem. Faction support is a problem here. Negative 12 public order just from faction support. I'm wondering if we do something to bump things up massively, just momentarily. Uh, like even at Dong, turn it off. That's a lot of money lost. Okay, just uh, Lang Yi for for this turn, and then we'll see uh, we'll see again for later, because I do want also to get some upgrades going wherever possible. And I'm hoping, again, next turn, if we're able to go in here, we can maybe make some money um, by occupying it. And then hopefully, oh yeah, taking that should definitely take us over to marquee status. All right, now what's the notification over here? We've got Wang Shu has leveled up. Got a point available. Your authority is through the roof. We could get you some more authority, better unit morale. Uh, what else should we focus on here? Let's see. Charge bonus bump. Yeah, that's def almost definitely the way I'm going to go. Um, replenishment when commanding. Discipline for the retinue means we don't get morale penalties if the general dies. Don't mind that. What's this? Eh, not the biggest deal. Better expertise, better melee armor piercing damage, better melee attack rate, better melee evasion as well from upping uh, expertise. And then down over here, better starting rank for all recruit. Oh, that's only if... Okay, that's nothing special. You know what? I might go with this extra charge bonus and then ultimately better line of sight. I don't know how I feel about that. But extra charge bonus, authority and instinct. Instinct gives us more melee damage. Authority gives us uh, even more unit morale bumps. So, yeah. Buy that. Oh. Your recruitment cost reduction with instinct. Cool. Happy with that decision. And who else is leveled up? Oh, the other one is just... Uh, Yu Jijian is not happy with his situation. Desires higher court position. Listen, not everybody gets what they want, okay? Okay? Not everybody gets what they want. I mean, I could give you something to make you happier. Not worth it. All right, I think that's the turn, though, folks. Was that literally just two turns? So far? I think so. Feeling pretty good about things, though. Um, that's our craftsman. 
see what the AI does over here, especially. I mean, I could take him on in another battle if this army comes back, but I worry that there is another bigger army over here that I need to run away from. But they're almost certainly not about to strike us. Almost certainly. We're, uh, hopefully not going to swallow a very bitter truth pill any, any second now. Ooh. I want my craftsmen for 1100 Nah, you know, I don't need money that badly, and I want my craftsmen. That income from industry is going to make a, I think, bigger difference long run than 1100 bucks ever will. Oh, no thank you. Yes. Nope. No, no, no matter. We are friends. <laughs> They're running away. They're cowards. Very well. Um, Her Yi signed a peace treaty with Liu Biao. Biao, okay. Uh, oh, interesting. Requested their master to go to war with who? Yang Chao. Oh, interesting. Lucky shot, walls. Sometimes fate intervenes in proceedings. A lucky shot from your army exposes a weakness in the enemy defenses. Do not let this opportunity go to waste. Attack this point at once. We've destroyed a wall with a lucky shot. From what? I don't know. I don't know what kind of equipment would have done that with what we have over here. Um, but we could go in and uh, close victory is predicted. We could fight a knife battle. These guys are pretty badly hurt. The thing that concerns me... Is... Uh, are the, well, it's the towers. They will cause a lot of hurt. It'll cause a lot of hurt, and they have a bastion artillery, which is a it's a it's a, it's a trebuchet. Medium predicted casualties, close victory is predicted. Fighting a night battle would be nice. Enemy spotting ability will be diminished. They'll, there are no reinforcements to receive, apart from the garrison, but that'll be there anyway. And the negative fifteen morale for the enemy army as well. Uh, that'll be fun. It'll be visually appealing as well. Fun to see. Do I want to get another piece of sapping done? We've already destroyed the wall two spots now between the event and the sapping so that's helpful our cavalry can get in somewhat easily but again artillery and stuff they have one unit of medium spear guard or medium spear infantry your guard sorry i'm gonna think about down here i'm gonna think about you're not within reinforcement range are you ah, unfortunately not would have been nice it would have been nice to come in with a, like, make them an ally and then bring them in right away. Okay, you are really not happy. This is a problem. Reserves, faction support's a big part of it. Taxation, of course. I mean, we can reduce taxation. Brings our food down significantly, unfortunately. I wish it was different years. This is a problem. I mean, tax exemption here reduces the food significantly. Okay. Hmm. find myself in an interesting position. There's negative 45 in a couple of turns, yeah, and in, in two turns we're going to have a rebellion. All we can do is slow it down, but the negative 12 is going to hurt. Reduce my reserves and all my commanderies, but public order will still be on the rise across the board. Except for at Lang Yi. We can stop taxing them as well. Okay, negative 8 right now is fine. Faction support will hopefully end quickly enough. And that'll be good. And down over here. Harvest season, so extra food production. Maybe I'll let it drop by a step. Oh, man. Yeah, we get a little bit of extra income and everything, so let's 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 let it drop by one step. We do have this army over here, which we can send down if necessary to crush a rebellion. 
there's that, which does feel good. Does, it, yeah, it does, it does, it does feel good. Knowing that I have these guys. Oh my god, they've got rebellions up over here as well. Okay. Okay, what am I worried about? What am I worried about? Lang Yi, I'm worried about you. Negative 8, though, is manageable. Uh, we can't really afford to build anything right now. We could rush this out for 825. Extra income, extra food production. Nah, no need to rush it out. I think we'll let that be as is. And that'll be good. All right, so let's see. Let's just do a quick recap. Just to so I know what the hell's going on again. I like the attitude map. It's for some reason, despite ownership being the obvious choice, the attitude one makes it crystal clear where I am. But let's go with ownership. I don't know why I'm flip flopping. Um, oh, more pips. Sorry, Mount Song, centermost of the five great mountains. Songshan has heard prayers for many centuries. The Yellow River, we've seen before the Great Wall. In order to keep invaders from reaching and defiling the capital, Luoyang, a great fortification was erected many lifetimes ago. I, learning history is half the fun of a Total War game. Um, all right. Our holdings have expanded rather greatly. I'm feeling good about that. We've put Liu Bei and Dao Ying into a corner, um, which I feel good about as well. Cao Cao is still a friend. Yan Xiao hasn't made any crazy moves to vassalize anybody else like Cao Cao. Uh, Wang Lang, we're trading with again. Do we have any more trade opportunities? Yan Xiao, we're trading. Right? Yes. I've actually maximized my, my trade partners. I'm trying to find more ways to make money right now. Or even food. Like, our agreements are fine. Who do I have? With you, I have six turns. No, eight turns left. Holy crap. Mm. And with you, I have eight turns left as well. Now, I can actually cancel these if I want to. But it makes me look really bad. It, uh, In fact, let me show you guys because I haven't shown it. But it should warn me if I try to cancel it. Yeah, it makes everybody upset. And it actually reduces my trustworthiness as well. Yeah, this makes everybody upset. Except for Lu Bu and Teng Tao for some reason. But that, that tells you a lot about that decision. Not going to do that. Hmm. Ooh, Yan Xiao considers me a bit of a strategic threat. That feels good. Uh, all right, back on topic, though. Yu Biao likes us. He has so much goddamn money. How do you have so much money, man? Uh, request payment. Why am I doing this? Because I want food. Because I want food. What, like, what, what could I possibly offer? That I want to offer? The Book of Songs? Nah. We're, we're gonna fight through the pain. We'll, we'll manage this ourselves. One thing I do want to do, though, is uh, I just realized I can get those ancillaries. I haven't done anything over here. Um, authority bump. Else with unit morale. It would be helpful for uh, Teicher to, to have that unit morale bump. Happy enough with that. All right, folks, uh, this is definitely an interesting situation. I do need to dive into another battle over here. This one will will be interesting because it's a uh, it's a siege battle. We've we've got a bit of sapping done. We have put a hole in the wall uh, through other methods as well. And we're a little badly hurt with our cavalry and they have a trebuchet on the wall. So it's going to be a little a little scary. And up top over here, I think we've secured our holding. Uh, we have uh, grown our holdings as well. And I think, again, Yan Xiao now does consider us a bit of a strategic threat, which makes me feel a lot better. Uh, and we're very, very, very close to becoming a marquee. And then we can start vassalizing people ourselves. Cao Cao, Gongsun Zen, um, maybe some more options as well. And then we can convince them, well, convince, air quotes, them to uh, to, uh, to, to to join us in, in our war with Yuan Xiao. But that great war is coming very soon. Not today, however. We are at that hour mark. I didn't want to uh, trigger this battle either uh, when we had just two or three minutes left. So I was just checking what our options are maybe for, for moving forward. Because you never know how long this battle is going to last. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any feedback, as always, let me know down below. If you have any uh, questions, concerns, let me know that as well. Um, and as always, you know, if you want to see this series continue, leave a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference. I hope your uh, thirst for blood was quenched 
at least slightly today with the battle that we had. It was a pretty fun battle, I think. The ambushes and all were, were pretty fun, took a lot more damage than I was hoping for, but also less than I thought I did. So that's, you know, what it is. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, and a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Enjoy the game as it releases. I hope you have fun with it if you're buying it. But until next time, cheers.